this topic is called multiplication of three or four integers. So because we're multiplying, and there is the, the property called the commutative property of multiplication, you can multiply in any order that you want. So one thing to remember that is if you have a, an odd number of negative signs, your answer will be negative. And if you have an even number of negative signs, then your answer will be um, positive. So, oh, P.S., please remember to subscribe to my channel and like any videos that are helpful to you. So for this problem, we're going to just start by saying, okay, there's an odd number of negatives. There's one negative, so the answer will be negative. And then we can ignore the signs from here on out. We can do whatever order we want, so whatever is easier for you. I would probably do 3 times 2 is 6, and then take that 6 and times it by 5 to get 30. So this would be, the answer would be negative 30. So let's do another problem. We have an odd number of negatives. There's three negatives, so our answer will be negative. We can ignore the one because one times anything just gives us back what we had. We can do um, the five times two if we want to first. That'll give us 10 times that last five would give us 50. And one more just for kicks and giggles. This has a positive, I mean, it has an even number of negatives, so the answer will be positive. Again, we can ignore the 1 and do 5 times 3, and the answer would be 15. And that's the end of the lesson.